xe chở tụi mình đi ra ngoài biển nha các bạn đây là đồng môn của mình đó à, đồ phình bơi với đồ phình bên kia đó các bạn đó nha người ta đang ôm đồ phình đó mình sẽ đi trời ơi cá các bạn cá này mà làm món cá cái phong cách nào đẹp quá kìa cái mà mà chín nó có đuôi màu đỏ màu vàng kìa thấy không chuẩn bị đi chơi nha các bạn chuẩn bị đi ra biển nha ok Bắt đầu. chân các bạn. Tại nếu mà đi dưới biển có cát thì phải chân chứ không được. Ok, let's go. Thank you, buddy. Ok, bắt đầu mặc cái này lên nha các bạn Let's go các bạn. Now. One moment. My stage. This is for me now. Yeah, I'm on stage. So good morning again, guys. Morning. Come on, let's try another time. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Orchard Marine Park. This is where we're gonna be snorkeling for today. If you look to the left of the boat, which is some of you are right, the dark shaded deer are going up and down. That's the main coral reef. While snorkeling at the reef. You should be on length away from the reef at all times. No one should be seen trying to go over on the other side, that's Cuba. Are you looking at me? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I don't know looking at anyone. <laughs> but no one should be seen trying to go over on the other side, that's Cuba. Stay in Jamaica. If you see a reef that you can't go over, please go around it. On that note, where we are anchored is about 10 to 12 feet in depth. The closer you get to the river, the more shallow it gets. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
but we don't recommend no sitting, standing, or taking anything from the reef. It's a lucky, lucky, no touchy, touchy trip. What did I say? Lucky, lucky, no touchy, touchy. Yeah, man. So, reason being, we are sharp rocks, sharp coral, fire coral, sea urchin, and things when come in contact with the skin will irritate the skin cause nothing but pain. They even here with a Jamaican tattoo, free of charge, cause nothing but pain. <laughs> It's a guided tour. At all times, there are going to be lifeguards in the water with you. One at the front and one at the back. No one should be seen trying to overtake the lifeguard at the front. If you do so, you get a ticket. And the ticket will be out of the water. So anywhere the lifeguard go, you follow. If you lose anything out there, please notify the lifeguard before you get back onto the boat so that they can retrieve you. Alright? So this is a mask. This is what you use to see the beauty of the underwater world. The strap of the mask will be always above your hair, like how you wear sunshade. Just like this, above the ear at all times. Not on the ear or under the ear, but above the ear. Your nose is going to place in the nose pocket just like this. Once your nose is in the nose pocket, no breathing through the nose. Your nose is gonna be on vacation like you guys at the Moon Palace. <laughs> For ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, with all your reach in the forehead, you gotta brush your hair back like this. Turn to the wind and brush your hair back. <laughs> because one strand of hair can break the seal of the mask and get water inside and it will burn the eye. That ain't good. There is two clips, one at each side. To tighten the mask, you're gonna pull on the smaller end. See? To loosen the mask, you're going to put on the broader end to your own fitting. Mm -hmm. Also guys, no spitting in the mask, that's gross, even if it's yours. How to defog it, you're going to break the seal of the mask, get some water inside, rinse it out, and you're good to go. Or you use the fingertips and clean the windscreen just like this. <laughs> Work same way. This is your breathing device. This is what you use to breathe while the face is underneath the water. There are two knobs on it, you're going to bite gently on them. I stress gently. Don't want you to make the same mistake that Jamaican Joe did, bite it off that it was dirty. Oh, chicken. I don't bite it off, you know? <laughs> it was so hard, so I don't bite it off, right. you know? Bite gently on it, and then see the lips around it, alright? I don't want to hear no one doing it. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. At times while snorkeling, water will come through from the top. You can make a blast blow like the dolphin. And we'll pop, pop, pop. Or if you're too tired or exhausted to do so, just take it from the mouth and leak it out. You're good to go. Any questions? No, man. Yes, man. Any non swimmer, I can't swim. One, raise your hand. Show some love. Teacher. All right, students. Like, all right. So, this y'all is your fins or flippers. I call this my propeller. It doesn't make you a better swimmer, but it sure helps you to go fast. How to use it? You're gonna lay flat on top of the water like a plank. Kick from your hip to your ankle, all the way to Cuba, back to Jamaica in no time. But if you're doing this or the air climbing, you won't get nowhere, and the boat will be gone by the time you get back. So you gotta check your body out. It's done. I can float, but I cannot swim. <laughs> <laughs> I said, stretch your body out. Can you kick? <laughs> can you kick? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna kick. <laughs> so today we're doing a drift snorkel. That's in my wife. <laughs> so, yeah, still on this page, still on this page. so today we're doing a drift snorkel. We're gonna start here, we're gonna, it's gonna end down there where you see the white thing floating in the water. So once you leave this boat, no retreat, no surrender. You gotta make your way all the way down before you get back onto the boat. Alright? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Orleans.